Bash it on this thing, see if it goes through. I put a lot of heat onto it with a heat gun, bashed it in here, and then I put on the vise um, so there'd be a fair bit of support on it and not bend the shaft too much. And I had uh, like a punch and I just bashed through it and brushed the rest out and uh, put a new pin in. Put it back in, I just started it, but I'll just see if I can bash it back in. Uh, if not, I'll heat it up again and try that. Alright, so bashing it back in wasn't so hard. But getting that out, holy hell, that was set in there. Where's the Rovens? They just got a little grub screw at the end of it, which comes loose. and So there you go, so I'll... I noticed that the boot on this was no good either, so I'll put a new boot. So I'm glad I changed that up. This is going to have new pins, new center cups, new boot. I think I'm going to actually form this dip apart. Because uh, I want to see if I can actually shim it up a little bit tighter than that. It's not bad, but it's not as good as uh, the other one I did on the Roven. So I'll just check it. I ripped the diff out. Just to check it, I think the bolts are actually loose on the bulkhead. So maybe that might turn things up. But um, yeah, I pulled it apart. It was a little bit low on fluid, so I topped up the fluid. It seemed pretty clean still. Uh, cleaned it all up. Put new grease on there. And she's good to go. So, and another thing as well, just to pull this out, really, it's only like, um, so two bottom ones there, two top ones here, and the whole thing comes off, as long as you take, take the sway bar bits off, um, yeah, pretty simple, you know, I was having a look at the, the broken one, and I thought, well, it's got to be a, a quicker way of pulling this out, and see if, Taking the whole thing out like I did last time. Re-greased, cleaned it all up, and um, had to put it back together. I'll probably check the wheel bearings as well, and good to go. All right, so what did I notice? I put it all back together, and it's actually quite tight now. And what I did notice is one of the bolts for the bulkhead was stripped. So if that can't tighten up, tight enough, uh, it, it's going to leave a bit of a gap. So now, so if I hold that, that's actually moving the cups over here. So it, it makes a big difference just having the bulkhead nice and tight. So one of the bolts is stripped, so I put a longer one, put a bit of lock tight. Should be good to go. Now I've just fitted some of these boots. I'm going to put a bit of grease, chuck them on, put a cable tie so they don't slide down. Good enough. On to the next thing. While everything's off, I might as well do the troop screw bump stops. What they are, are these things. This is one of them by Jap Racing. Uh, here in Australia, I actually got these from from Steve again. Steve, you're a good man. Gave me a good deal on these as well. So I thought I bought two sets. Never fitted them. Uh, and what they do pretty much is, as you can see here, the troop screws, which are these things here. So if you screw that in. It'll push the arm up, and it's probably it's 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 a system to sort of save the, the suspension. So if you have these droop screws, you set it up a little bit higher, so then your shocks uh, don't have that sort of pressure going against it when it when you're doing some air. Um, 
because the gravity gravity pulls this down obviously when it's in the air and it affects the shock so that's what this the uh, these uh, troop screws are for but unfortunately with this system it chews out your um, your chassis you drill a hole you tap it you hit you fit these um, bump stops they're a special sort of steel I'm not sure what sort of steel they are or metal or whatever but uh, yeah they're designed to take it a bit more than what your uh, alloy chassis does so I'll drill the hole first you can see it's been marked so you know where to drill it drill tap and then I put some red Loctite uh, I actually made a mess of this hole but uh, as long as it threads and it holds, it's the main thing. Alright, get the shifter out, tighten her up a bit more, done. Once it's done, that's it. All good. Alright, on to the next thing. A little tip. Your steering sort of um, is getting a bit loose, especially when it's on like grass and there's a bit of load on it. Um, one thing to look at is this servo saver. Um, I actually tighten it right up. I know it's meant to save your servo, but it just affects your steering so much if this is too loose. And the problem with these lossy 5Ts is that these come loose. Uh, you can get upgraded part for this where there's a I think they clamp on you can tighten up with a bolt I think the lossy 5B's have got a better setup uh, but in the past all I've done is I've put some Loctite I've done it up put some Loctite done it up tight and it's it's been pretty good so I'm, I might do that now all right another thing to look out for when you're doing maintenance on your lossy is the shaft you should really get a new one but I've actually strained them out in the past so I'm going to rip this out bang it out and should be good to go so I'm going all out now I'm ripping the uh, all the bearings out uh, the steering bearings are in there so what I've been doing is Freeing them up with some silicon spray, giving them a good clean, and then just dip them in some oil. Leave them there overnight, or as, as long as it takes for me to come back out here. Give them a good clean after that. Get rid of all the oil. Should be good to go. Just taking these out again. Um, all right, what did I do? Get the other one. Brought it over here and I straightened it. Uh, luckily, I've got this thing here that's pretty much the right width. And I, I was just rolling it with the torch on it. And if I could see the light underneath, I'd bang it until it's not perfect. Like, like I said, really need new ones, but. I reckon it be a lot better than what it was, a lot better. So, that's that. And, um, yeah, so this div's done. Coupling's done, new boot. I'm going to put boots, I've already got boots on here, as I said. Boots on there. It's going to be back to A1 very soon. Opened up the rear diff. And, not much grease on it. So it's a good thing I opened it up. I don't know where it went. I don't know. If, I don't know. But I, I don't think I've ever opened it. So I've given it all a clean. Clean inside. Check the fluid. 
put some Loctite on the bolts and uh, just about to put some grease on the on the teeth on that ring gear and then close her up.